Hello, 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 and welcome to another Rangaroo cast with me, Rangaroo. Today, we are doing a 4v4 on the map Gavel, and we are, well, we're going to be witnessing Code of Yodo Cannon, Mr. Coca Cola Defender, your teammate, Potato, and Lord Cardigan. On the pack side, we have Drang, Radioso, Mako, and Samurai Jack. Now, I believe Coca Cola Defender is going to be playing some really crazy auto cannon deck. Because, yeah, that's yeah, his trademark. Yeah, it's his team trademark. Also, typing in all caps, as you can see. Same with his teammates as well. Let's speed this up. And get things going, sorry. <clears throat> Everyone's marking down their points. Bloody hell, that's, that's a lot of markers. And away we go. Bit of a mig spam from Pact. NATO bringing it up with a few Harriers. Two F-16s. Mig's coming in. Well, sort of range kill. Yeah, those F-16s don't really stand a chance, I think. Harriers, what are you going to be doing? Going to be dropping their bombs. This actually might hit something. Oh god, this might actually get something. Wow, blind bombing done right. He actually does manage to knock out like two infantry platoons worth of stuff. Wow, that's actually pretty good blind bombing just off the start. Good, good job. Your teammate moving up to Lima. It was it? Yes. Yeah, it's a Lima or Leonid. Okay, it's Lima. Lima. It's an L. Evil. It doesn't really matter. Moving up. Been trying to get this uh, town area. Does have his jack commandos and little fortifications. Can kind of stop this town. Yeah, pretty good position. Middle being kind of like untouched, really. Fox trot slowly but surely. Drang's moving up his forces. And it does seem like Potato is being a little bit slow because there was a bit of knee pump, so he's going to redirect his forces. And, yep, yeah, this is a cult of the auto cannon. It does seem like a, yes, yeah, Coca Cola. See, Coca Cola, he loves his M1 on freeze. He loves anything that has a cannon that shoots automatically. And it just really turns him on. I don't blame him, auto cannons are amazing. Absolutely good, especially when you have this many. In the Danish deck. As you do have these Vard capture cell vehicle auto cannon unit, and you have the infantry transport auto cannon unit. Yeah, low auto cannon units. As Denmark, it's just quite nice. Foxtrot is going to be under pack control. It's going to allow him to get reinforcements into the area. Mom G up to uh, buffing up their defenses. Echo under pack control. You have Lord Cardigan moving in with a lordy amount of marines. You or war marines as I should say, not the Yank type. They all move up into the town. Those South Marines are going to do quite a number of them when they get into range, I think. See, war marines landed in. And there's yeah, the South Marine firing off its flamey flame launcher. The marines want to go out there, that's a pretty good idea. So all Torian AVRDs, I love these guys. Don't see them being used enough. But they're probably going to give some press and fire. They do have a really big, powerful HE cannon. 10 HE damage, which is an awful lot. But slow down once again. A fours moving up. Potato has quite quite a sizable rest German tank force. No flak pounds to show for uh, helicopter AA. But does have more than two Roland, which will help him out. And these leopards will do a pretty good job to spawn camp in this area, dishing out damage at long range. That is probably one of the best tanks in the game. They are actually fully elite as well. So I'm thinking this is, yeah, this is an armoured deck it seems. Wildcats moving up. You'll see shot down at MI8. Uh, glorious auto cannon coat. 
We bow down to Mr. Wildcat. Wildcat. It's like saying wild, but like German, like, we are going to the wild, ja. Field, field cat. Maybe it's field cat. And I'm just saying it completely wrong. Not entirely sure. As I only can speak one language and that screams English. Oh, top does seem like radio, so it's doing a pretty good job to pressing teammates' positions here. With lanes and tanks at long range. And teammate bringing up some AA. Still doing a bit of slack pants to do a very good job shooting down the M24s. Black Panther has been really good for you. Auto cannons moving up front again. The enemy are kneel before their might. As he does move them up. Oh, there goes the Drang. Seems like he couldn't handle the Fox Shot slide. Maybe he had to leave. Disconnected. Rage crit. We'll never know. We will never ever know. Centurion Mark 6s. Up in the unit here now. And these. Damn. These auto cannon guys making quite a bit of progress behind enemy lines. Pretty good on petrol as well. Oh, that MI24 could do quite a bit of damage though. This takes two brute place ATGMs. Ah oh, no. The auto cannons won't be able to survive the BMP2 on salt. Oh, he's going to shoot the hind. Can he get the hind? Oh no, he's stunned. And lag, lag, lag. He does get the kill. But so this one, M92, going strong down bottom. It's amazing how that thing can actually fit infantry guns inside of it. Because that gun turret would be all the way down here as well. Meaning there's not a lot of room for the infantry guys. It looks really cute. It's, it's it's like it's like a it's like a homemade LAV twenty five. Really is. It has like a twenty five millimeter auto cannon, but it uses the old M one one three chassis. Never see these units ever being used because no one in their right minds play, plays Denmark unless you're Coca Cola defender. Pack still holding on strong on the Echo. Mako doing a very good job. Potato moving quite a bit up into Foxtrot. He might try and move all the way up into India as uh, well, there's nothing in there to stop him. J4, just doing a few pop chops at range. I just I just want to see this guy get a CV kill. I, I think he can. I think this could get a CV kill. It's very low on petrol, but he does have like 1,500 meter range, so. That's not too bad. Oh, he's gonna park a deer. He's gonna have a little bit of a rest. Top. Oh, that's, that's a lot of art. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of artillery. Lord. Lord. Car cardigan. Is that cardigan? Yeah, it's cardigan. Or oh, carry. Carry. Car yeah, it's. Yeah, cardigan. Yeah, it's just like, that's the proper British rave playing any RTS game. Just spamming the hell out of artillery, because boy, do we love artillery. Just like, it's, it has a lot of a boot. That's a lot of it. Good, just... <laughs> no questions asked. But he seems to just be able to suppress their positions just really around now. Yeah, he's going to be firing all of them. And there yeah, goes the thunder. With the gun cam, yeah. See, so just... Can... <laughs> and it's amazing how in all that artillery for him. They're most strictly are perfectly fine. They're a little bit worried, a wee bit shaken. But not stirred, oh no. BTR 60 moving right up into the fray. ATT and Miles is pretty good to stop stopping the movement. But I think Radio Sol will be able to break this top flank here. 
So I think it's going to really come down to what happens at bottom as Coca-Cola Defender and Potato trying to move in through the bottom to MI2 G G G Okay, two MI2s with Strellas and ATGMs being brought down into India. I think some land units would be a lot better idea at the moment because they they need to defend this and fortify this area. Get some flamethrower guys up here, some ATGM guys crossing this crossroad, a few AA and some AA guys all in the back as well as some ATGMs and you could actually lock down India quite well. So uh, I hope he brings up units to do that. Now that was Drang who left so his teammates do have to cover for him. And I think that's mainly just Samurai, Drac Samurai Jack covering bottom. Yeah, he's mainly covering bottom. I, I, he's Rilks here. I think I'd do a lot better job if I were India. Just for safety reasons. Oh, we have to, oh it's some Ragton Yagdol Panzer runs being used. Very cheap ATGM unit, uses SS11, which was, I believe it was a French ATGM. Like one of the first ever anti-tank guided missiles ever produced. Used a little controller. Kind of cool little device, very primitive, yo. And you usually don't see these guys being used, as most people prefer to get the Jaguar 2. Because it has a lot better ATGM. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, wow, oh, oh, wow, I wish that survives a bit longer, but he, he camped his little, just praise the autocannon, he camped his little autocannon unit here, killed one, two, three, four, <laughs> like five vehicles, he killed two light tanks. And run to three APCs, got twos, blood. <laughs> oh, the little auto cannon that could. Uh, that is brilliant, that is absolutely brilliant. Artillery just laying down the heat. It was known as just in the. Oh. They survived, yo, that's, that's the main thing, they do survive. Oh, Ron did get killed, but the other guys do get to live. Get out of there with their lives. MiG-31 cycling above. A little bit slow. Gonna speed things up. Get this going. Planes coming in. Hamlet is not to be, does get destroyed. Burned alive. And now the artillery just. It's not really doing much. Like, that's a big area it hit. But it didn't do much to Osa. Like, you'd think a trove, a dozen of these guys shooting one target to kill it, but it doesn't really seem to be the case. It looks really intimidating and quite scary, but it's, it's just not doing much. Like, the, like Mako Sheenich are having a sour in the artillery. Oh, they have an auto cannon per se from Coca Cola. Oh, AVREs, this can do great suppression damage, or just great HE damage, you can see. Oh, clusters. Is that clusters or was that HE? Yeah, it was, it was HE, not clusters. Live Gardens moving up with some Dragoneers behind. And the Vild Catch vildly firing at the enemy. Zachary's burning them three bit. More infantry coming in. And Coco Defender just <laughs> moving right up. Not even up there, he doesn't load, good timing. Being just get the Sapperies in the town, he should be in a pretty good position. Potato, no, he's still gonna dip his toe a little bit into India, but still just 
It seems like just gaining a mass force and well, there's still nothing in India from Pat. This is it's really gonna hurt him if Potato does decide to move up. Oh, an SU-25T being brought out. 1680 GMs of pure devastation gonna be flying in. A little bit of a cool view, yeah. The frogfoot does fly over. I think he's gonna get shot down by an eel. It's quite a huge hamlet. And he's gonna do his circle path of doom. Let's knock out his auto cannon bastard. And there's not really any A from Coca Cola Defender. He's playing Denmark, so he doesn't have a great choice. He does have his Hamlet, which are like a stinger, but kind of it's like a it's like a crap stinger, like a third like a third party stinger. And they can't really hit yeah, range against the SU-25T, so he just has clear skies, just circling around, doing his thing, having a laugh. Tato moving up into India. Moving through the bottom part. Now Samurai Jack bringing out some forces. 2T72 M1 Yagras. And 4PT76 Descent. And to be honest, the Leopard 2A4. Probably all of them up. Mini species gonna come and yeah, run down. Oh, that one actually survived a shot. Wow. It survived a leopard shot. Not many can say that. Planes being brought up. More artillery from the boots. They're just, he's just moving around the map. They're up here, they're down here, they're over here, and they're all like bleeding here. Jeez, mooching off. Oh, you know, those are his FOBs. Huh. Yeah, we did end up losing one of Boots in the process. Or oh, Abbott. I think it's Abbott. A Boot Abbott. Potato, potato. Speaking of potatoes, yo. That's, yeah, that's actually pretty good uh, leading. He's making a bit of progress into India. Some more ground forces being brought up, some Samurai Jack. Now if he can get a CV in India, they put their score to plus three. Oh yeah, he's done He's giving up a Centaurian CV out, so they don't see yours too often. Pretty good tank CV, Centaurians do have a lot more armour compared to an APC. Though you could get a Chieftain. Mark 10 uh, command tank, which is also a real nice choice, as it is more tankier than the Centaurian. But hey, whatever works. Centaurian does get the job done, and that's all you really need sometimes. Something that gets the job done. Sapperi's moving up. All holding on. Scott twos crossing him. And TPD Fuchs. Starfighter gonna be dropping in the HE. Zapri's losing 15 guns in that bombing run. And Coca Cola Defender just. I wonder how many cards of these that he has. He must have like 40 of these cards in the set. We have no exaggeration, but it is his Coca Cola Defender we're talking about. He probably just has infantry in his deck, just all infantry. Because he is a mad, mad man. But it seems like being a mad, mad man is getting him results. Bunch of infantry being brought up from Mr. Lord Cardigan. Mm 
bomb and run, a boot fire, abbot fire. Plus four at the moment. Now I think this is probably going to be a timed victory. Maybe. Mm. I don't know. I mean, this is, is up to a thousand points. Yeah, I, I do have a feeling that NATO might get a victory just from, just from getting the points. Or maybe Pact may come back. I mean, I do have his northern flank I could try and push up to. The Coca Cola defenders really bringing in the heat in the Echo Town. With the help of Lord Cardigan's Fusiliers, Royal Fusiliers. And the town is going to be under their control, if they can capture that, that'll be more CP points for all gem. Or catch points, however you want to read it. Lots of dash ants, with T's 40, 72 ropes backing them up. Very nasty tanks these guys are. They can, they can actually do quite a bit of damage to a Leopard Trade 4. That's like 18 AP power on the gun, which is a lot for a 90 point tank. That, but twos, it's bog standard on these times. It's been brought up with A2, 2A1 support. And it's going to be a standoff between the Rilks and the Leopards. Splitting them up, but we do have the Jack Commando here. Causing a bit of trouble. And 48 has been suppressed and killed. Suppressed isn't even a word, I was trying to say suppressed. Yeah, I do say I've a little bit too much. Being shot at, being shot at, that's a better one. That's that was getting shot at. Speaking of getting shot at, he's not directly taking the boot fire. And now shooting at the Fusiliers. Now the Fusiliers are strong and they're gonna hold on to the town. NATO's moving up into Lima as well. BOs and some long range ATGM ins. And it seems like Samurai Jack units are just gonna get annihilated. There are C72s in a real nice spot, but it's kinda below, so it can't get shot at. Wait, they can't see out. Okay, they do see out. And it just get finished off by the BO. Bad odor. Well, the boot actually got a kill. There's more, yeah, this is, this is more infantry from Lord Cardigan. Really liking his infantry. I get out? Like move out? Didn't really just get that, yeah? I mean, eight to a plus four. I think this is going to be a victory. That's a lot of teeth. God damn it, Samurai. How many Jaguars do you have? 
And this other, and it doesn't bring up any AA, which means the BO is now a real fun time shooting them down. Ninety percent plus five. Tornadoes, Starfighters, Make Freddy Runs coming in to intercept. Oh, four, three of them. Lead now. And yeah, uh, this is gonna be an 8-0 victory, it seems. There goes Radio Show. Jump it off before it goes overboard. And yeah, it is a good game. Coat of the auto cannon, Ren and Runch again, because you do not mess with the auto cannon or Ren. Coca Cola Defender plays a Denmark. Ha. Okay. <laughs> yeah, good, good player from NATO. Very aggressive player once again, and yeah, just, just never see Denmark being used, especially in that manner. And yeah, that's all I have time for. This has been another Rangaroo cast. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys next time. Take it easy.